What is indigenous? It means originating or occurring naturally in a particular place. So, indigenous people are... Me. Hi, Sid. Hi, Ruby. Indigenous people are the first people to be living in a place. Indigenous people, like me, have lived here for over 12,000 years. Hi there everybody, it's Mr. John with the Boys and Girls Club of Metro Los Angeles and today for cultural awareness, we are going to be doing a program that I call Indigenous Paper Buffalo Hides. So what we're going to do today is kind of pay uh, acknowledgement and uh, tribute to the Native Americans or indigenous tribes that used to use uh, buffalo hides as ways to document their own history. So instead of writing in books, they would use uh, buffalo hides to capture the uh, symbolism of what history and what big cultural events happened at that time. So all you're really going to need before we start our program is going to be a paper bag. So I know it doesn't look like a paper bag, but a paper bag that you can get free at any grocery store. You're going to need some scissors, uh, obviously, to cut out the paper bag. And then you're going to also need a pencil as well as some markers. You can have paint or crayons as well if you have those. So just make sure you get all of the materials ready. And as soon as you have those ready, we'll get started onto the program. All right, so hopefully you guys have your materials ready and are ready to go. The first thing we're going to be doing today is we're going to take our scissors and cut out a weird looking shape like this. It could be a little different. So I'm actually going to cut out a little bit more of the shape and make a something a little bit. So go ahead and cut out the shape and just get an idea of what exactly you'd like. And then once you're done, your shape should eventually look something like this. And what we're going to do after that is that we're just going to fold it up and scrunch up the paper bag into our hands. And then we're going to unravel it. So don't scrunch it up and throw it away. We're going to unscrunch it and unravel it. And you're going to flatten it out. So let's try to push all the effort in and flatten this paper bag out. Awesome. So as you can see, we have a nice little buffalo hide already. And the next thing we're going to do is by using a pencil, we're going to draw an outline of uh, the buffalo hide. So it could be anything that you want as long as it's a consistent pattern. So it has to be a pattern that's just as similar as it goes around. And this is where your crayons and colors are going to come in. You're going to take a black crayon marker or paint. Uh, it's best to use it as a black marker, so if you have a sharpie or anything like that, it works really well. And all you're going to do is, using your marker, you're going to outline what you had just made. And uh, maybe your symbols look like stitches, because um, we do have to remember that back in uh, these times, they didn't necessarily have paint and markers like how we have now. So we're just going to make sure that we kind of get all the materials kind of exact. And let's see. Just go ahead and finish up your border. Your border should be good and ready to go. All right. And almost there, almost done. Alright, All right. and this is what it should look like now. Nice. And next we're going to do, we're going to draw some symbols. So I actually have one right here that I practiced a little earlier. And just to show you guys a couple of the symbols that we have. Uh, we have this for flood. This top one is going to be for lake. This one right here is going to be for campfire. And then this one is just how you draw a person. And if you want to draw multiple people, that means a friendship. So go ahead and draw a symbol that you would like. When we do this project, uh, most of the time our symbols are not going to be uh, really big paintings. They're going to be really short and sweet as you guys saw in my uh, symbols. So they're going to be really short and uh, it's not going to put a lot of time into it. So we can make it all look really good really fast. So let's go ahead and let's start with one of the symbols. And after I do my first one, I'll show you guys what it looks like. 
And you want to make sure that they're kind of big so they fill out most of the border that you have. So that one is flood as we know. And if you guys want to, uh, I'm going to put a picture of the uh, of some of the symbols that they actually had. So I'll pause a little bit. And then I'll show a picture of the symbols that they had. And uh, you can use some of those symbols. You can also look up your very own symbols of uh, what indigenous people used to draw onto their... Um, onto whatever they were using to mark down their history and culture. For some of uh, the indigenous people, it was paper bags. For some of them, it was cow hides. For some of them, it could have been uh, certain leaves that grew in their area. So a lot of different um, ways that they would use to actually kind of get all of this information together. So let's draw another one. This one is lake, as we know, so we're just going to keep with that one. And then lastly, we're going to make one. And then lastly, this one's going to be friends. So like I said, you can draw whatever you feel like. I'll post a picture at the end of the video of certain uh, symbols that you can add on to your buffalo hide at the end of this. And yeah, so a quick little story on why they use buffalo hides is because in indigenous cultures, it's really important to the people who uh, live in these cultures to make sure that when they hunt, they're using the, um, the whole animal to pay respect to it. So whenever they would eat, instead of eating just to feel healthy, they also acknowledged that animals were a very big part of their ecosystem and their environment that they lived in. So instead of just taking and not giving really anything back, they would take what they needed and then whatever they didn't need, they would let it roam and live in harmony until eventually they didn't need it. So uh, a really big important reason why I chose to do this is just to show everybody, especially in the season of giving thanks, and in the season of uh, kind of learning about uh, Native American history and also no no noticing that actually November is Native American uh, Heritage Month. And so we're going to take to account that uh, a lot of indigenous cultures lived on America and a lot of them had their own creative and I think really cool ways to honor and respect their environment and the places they live. So... Um, before we head out, I actually have a challenge for all of you guys. So you guys go ahead and put your buffalo hides up if you want. If they're not just done yet, you can finish them at the end of the video. But uh, a challenge that I have for you guys today, and we'll go into our debrief questions afterwards. But a challenge that I have for you guys is um, look around certain traditions uh, from Native Americans or indigenous cultures that are native to Los Angeles. And we'll go over that in a uh, program for this next week that I have that's called Learn About the Tong Tongva Tribe, which is a tribe that is native to Los Angeles and they grew all over Los Angeles. So it's gonna be a cool little tribe that we learn about and we're gonna learn about some of their traditions. And I want you guys to practice one of the traditions that we find out on, throughout this month and just see how you feel about it and how you feel about um, noticing and embracing other cultures than yourself. So uh, go ahead and look those up. If you have time to go ahead and add, even ask somebody at home what they think about uh, Native American culture. And so before we head out, uh, I just have one question for you guys today. And I'm gonna ask you guys what cultures and traditions would you guys like to hear about for the next videos? Obviously, we're gonna have a lot more live content throughout the week. So we're gonna have a lot more time to interact and hang out, but I wanna know from you guys on the uh, pre-recorded content aspect, what would you guys like to learn about and what are some things that you guys think would be really cool to learn? Go ahead and think about it. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to learn that either. <laughs> so a very good job today, you guys. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, it's super fun. I really can't wait to, to get into more cultural awareness with you guys. And yeah, have a really great day. Stay safe, stay healthy. And uh, if you guys have time, next time you see me, send a picture in of your buffalo hide to show me on Zoom. And yeah, and we can post those up on our social media. So yeah. Make your buffalo hide, send the picture in to any of your staff members, and let them know, like, hey, I want to be on the e-club uh, social media. And, yeah, we'll have a lot of fun. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.
Bye. All right, you guys. So here's a list of symbols that you can add onto your buffalo hide. Feel free to add some of these symbols and also look on what they mean and maybe even write a story using all the symbols that we have here. And as well, uh, I know I forgot to say it in the video, but thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, real quick about our e-club. If you want to join us to get homework help, we still do that Monday through Thursday from 2 to 3 o'clock. And now on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, we'll actually start doing our live content again. So if you want to join our live content to see what kind of fun programs we have, feel free to join us Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And again, Wednesdays uh, for Family Fun Night, this week we're actually going to be doing a charade. So feel free to join us, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing that. As always, thank you guys for joining me today. Have a great day and a great week, and I will see you all next time.